Glenn with Hustler Hacks here, and I want to show you guys another awesome Plato's Closet haul. So first off, I got these Air Max CB34s, Barclays, and I got them for $40. They are a size 10 and a half, and these are pretty clean. So. 40 bucks, I mean, they've really gone down on price, I guess because Barclays aren't really too popular with the kids. So, you know, like it's not like Durant, Kobe's, and Kyrie's, Jordan's, you know, a lot of the, like, the teenagers, uh, 17, 16 and older, they're wearing mostly those. So Barclays, you know, it's kind of like people that are, like, around my age that, you know, our super Barkley fans, I would definitely care for these. So, I mean, I'm going to shoot for like 80 bucks and let's see what happens. I know that's not like a huge profit, but, you know, who knows? Let's see what's what kind of market um, they kind of go into and everything because they're in pretty good shape. And definitely no, uh, no huge flaws or anything. So, you know, 80 to 90 bucks. Let's see what happens. More Barkley's. Barkley Posit Max and... I think these were like 260 when they came out or I'm not too sure. I know they were like pretty expensive and um, they've really gone down in price. I think you can find some on clearance for like 150 range. So I'm going to shoot again for about 90 to 100 bucks and see what I can get for them. I got these for $30 and they're size 11. You can see here and there's a little bit of flaws here and there. You can see some chipping. Um, but once again, I mean, not too bad, especially for 30 bucks. If they don't sell, yes, I am going to keep these. And last, the crowd favorite, some Jordan 13's Cement Gray, AKA Gray Toes. And these, I was like, ah, oh, they gotta be fake for sure. But I was looking at them and look at the tag, the bottom, look at all the details and nope. They were real, they were only $30, I think. Yeah, 30 bucks, and they are a size 11 and a half. And, you know, I guess what, why they priced it so low, because they do have like some creases and like some snags and stuff. Um, most, uh, I guess the ones you can tell the most are like right here, you can see there's like a huge scratch and one over here. And just like, you know, little creases and stuff here and there but honestly not too bad if I could get at least like a hundred 125 you know maybe even you know probably around that range I would think because I don't have the original box or anything like that um but you know definitely good shoes uh I know for sure because these didn't come out too long ago that was my Plato's Closet haul I'm not too sure if someone just needed money maybe their angry girlfriend wanted to just trade in a bunch of shoes and uh, you know, get whatever for them. Cause honestly, Plato's Closet, they're not gonna give you that much. I mean, if I got, if I paid 30 bucks for these, how much do you think they gave, you know, the person that traded these in? Probably like 10 or, yeah, I mean, how much? Cause they gotta make money. So how much money are they really making on these? They're selling them for 30 bucks. I mean, really, really crazy. Um, personally, even if I didn't know much about eBay, I'd find somebody that did just so I could sell them. I really wouldn't take them to Plato's Closet. And I've seen people take clothes and stuff and they tell them like a dollar or, you know, of course a lot of stuff they wouldn't even take, but I don't know, they're really, really weird. Um, but it's good, good for sourcing though, uh, if you can get great deals like these. So if you like these finds, you can find me on Instagram, Hustler Hacks. Subscribe to me here on YouTube. My name is Glenn with Hustler Hacks. Go out and get some G's.